in an entire Waukee community one step away from being homeless. That's the situation that about 300 families at a mobile home park say they are facing. At Midwest Country Estates in Waukee, that mobile homeowners were given a 70% rent hike this year with less than two months' notice after an out-of-state company bought them up. And Iowa doesn't have any current law to keep that from happening. Well, now neighbors are taking to the Capitol to make their voices heard. Local 5's Eva Anderson spoke to state legislators and community members. She joins us in the studio with more, Eva. Stephanie, Jack, people who live in mobile home parks across Iowa have been fighting for months to expand their rights, and we've covered their stories for you here on Local 5. But this Saturday was the first time they were able to tell their own stories to a group of bipartisan lawmakers at the State House, hoping that when the legislative session starts back up in less than a month, they'll see some real change happen. Oh, it's, it's horrible to be, to be afraid in your own home. I mean, no one should have to have it. That's your sanctuary. With pictures of his grandma. Originally, she bought this place. And the company of Ox. Ox the cat. Matt's home on Collins Drive is more than just a place to lay his head. That's where you live out your older years. But he feels he has no rights to protect his space. The way the law sits now, they could just go to anybody and say, we want you out in 60 days. And that's what happened this spring. An out-of-state company buying his community and jacking up the price 70% for the lot where his home stands. Come April, we'll be paying about $600 for a square of dirt. Saturday, Matt and others across Iowa shared their stories. In April of 2019, all 300 households in my community... Got ...to help push forward a bill that would give them basic homeowner rights. This public hearing was just so important to be able to hear the nuances of what's going on. Senator Claire Selsey says the bill that the Senate passed this year's session only scratches the surface of building basic protections for mobile homeowners. The bad thing is, is that the more complicated it gets, the less likely it is. To pass. But until this year's session picks up, people like Matt will keep fighting to make their voices heard to keep their homes that many of their neighbors have already lost. It's a pretty low bar to say just not being homeless, but... The bill sets limits on rent increases and how soon they can go into effect. It passed unanimously in the session, but stalled in the House earlier this year. State lawmakers like Senator Celsi are advocating to get it pushed through the House when the legislative session picks back up next month in 2020. In the studio, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. New tonight at